Hi there, thank you so much for clicking the thumbnail and being interested in my work. In this video I share with you my techniques and tips on how I drew this ear on Strathmore smooth paper. Be sure to watch it right through till the end because here and there I'll be slowing things down in real time so you can take a closer look. So let's dive in and take a look. Now before I start with the drawing, I'd just like to mention the value system I use, which is nine values, which is four lights, four darks, and a mid-tone. If you look on the top of this scale I've done, I've put uh, the, the actual number of the pencils that created that tone. So you've got 4H, 2H, H, HB, B, 2B, 4B, and 8B. So that's the pencils I'll be using. Just turning the camera around so you can see the reference image I'm using. Now I found a center point of that. Uh, the easiest way of doing that is to actually make a duplicate copy on the layers and then select the actual select tool and, and select that new layer and then it'll bring up a, like a box with a center point in it and that's what I tend to do. It's the easiest way to do it. Then I put a center point on the paper itself and then draw from that and measure from that outwards. And you know it's going to fit on the paper then because it's central. What you'll notice straight away when you start using the smooth paper is that you can use like darker pencils like HB and B for the outline. Where if this were vellum it would be too grainy to use that sort of grayer pencil. You'd have to go right down to a 2H, so because then it'd be light enough then and not uh, be too too strong a line. Just pop in the reference image there in the top left hand corner. Just bear in mind that the actual drawing is in perspective slightly, so it will be look slightly out with the drawing, but it is the correct sort of proportions. Just working very lightly and working from that center point and then measuring the width against the height which gives you an idea of the actual proportions and just basically keep your actual reference image quite small so you see the whole thing which, which will help you to get the proportions right. If you have it too blown up you can lose yourself in it. And keeping the reference image small enables you to actually connect to the whole of the energy of it as well. I know this is a study, but there's still the energy of that person and the feelings coming through the skin. So to actually feel that and connect to that is to see the whole. So first of all, I just started to fill in a little bit of darkness in there. I used a 2B to start with, just in the shadow areas. Then I used a H and a HB to actually just get rid of that sort of brightness of the paper, just to sort of loosely put some marks on there, just to cover that glare. Just making sure everything is put into the correct place. Uh, I work on the whole thing, so putting all the elements in there, trying to get a balance of where things go before I lay in any deep shade. It is actually an underdrawing, just preparing everything, ready for putting those values and subtleties in. And once I'm happy with that, then I'll start to put in the darkest areas and the lightest areas and then you've, you can work out the values in between then. So I'm working on here the darkest parts, working around that airing what's inside the ear. And basically, once you've got that darkness in there, you can judge the other values more easily. Working on smooth paper, I found that you need to actually create your own texture for the skin because skin is not smooth. There's all sorts of little blemishes and speckles here and there. So what I tend to do is just 
move the pencil in all different directions. I'm sensing the actual texture in the reference image and letting my hand move to where it wants to move. So it squigg squiggles, ash in here. There's all sorts of things going off, movement, and it's just happening. And I'm not really doing that. It's just, I'm just looking at the reference image and just letting it just move where it needs to move. If you're enjoying this video, why not subscribe? It's absolutely free and then you're sure not to miss any of my future videos. Here's a little bit of real time now just to show you how I'm just sort of lightly ashing these uh, tones in. It, it's building it up really, it's just getting rid of that harsh white and then you have to just keep working on the darker ones. Um, but you know start light first and build it up so what I'm doing here I've used a HB then I'll probably use a B then a 2B and maybe a 4B but build it all up and um, starting off lighter first is a great tool to have in your kit it's just a rubber or a razor with a little bit of a brush on the end and it really does the trick just gets rid of those rubbing especially when you're using like a mono zero eraser and you're using that in combination with the pencils when you start rubbing out it creates little black bits and um, just using that sort of brush really does help just to get rid of that i'd just like to take this opportunity to thank all my patrons for your awesome support every month i really appreciate you pledging and supporting me this way this video will be uploaded to my Patreon page at some point as a real-time audio, real-time video. And if you're considering joining me on Patreon, please find in the description below a link which will take you straight there. With my technique, you really have to be patient because it really takes time to build up these layers. So, um, you know, it's not there straight away it takes a while for the actual image to come alive so you have to be patient and know that it's going to get better and the more you sort of do it the, and with the experience you realize that this is the case and so that you relax more now here's a little bit of real-time footage now just showing you how i use the, the mono zero eraser to get the texture so this graphite on there so what I'm doing is lifting it off now very very lightly just swizzling it round just very small movements just letting it flow with what I'm feeling from that reference image and then what I'll do is I'll glaze over that at a later date now this is putting the subtleties in now so basically I'm focusing in more and more on how it feels uh, the feeling and the texture because i've got these these basic shapes and shades down i can relax now and start to put that detail in now, i'd recommend squinting the eyes to see the values but for the subtleties it's not squinting them it's actually open the heart the more you open the heart the more you sense and the more these subtleties seems to present themselves it's like a feeling you get and so what you're actually drawing is a feeling rather than shades it's the feeling that area is giving you and that's what you're trying to actually portray by these little textures and squiggles uh, but it's all connection, it's a connection you've got with the reference image and it's flowing through you, out your hands, out your pencil and onto the paper. If you're enjoying this video, why not give it a like and share it with your friends? It would mean so much to me as this would help the channel to grow. At this point it's just a matter of just keep working over and over it, subtling it and subtling it. Uh, the more you sort of change one value, the other will need changing. 
um, you'll find that you'll be drawn to certain areas that need working on so just let your instincts take you there with the jury here I'm just putting suggestions in because I didn't want the eye to go too much to the jury it's all about the ear so I just did that very loose it's just a basic underdrawing I've just done at the moment and it will just keep developing as I continue with getting the shades correct around it so I'm working around the jewellery making sure that the value is as close as I can get to what it should be and then just keep rubbing out areas within the jewellery um, to get that sort of glint here and there working on this smooth paper feels a bit like working on glass it's a very slippy surface so you have to be patient and build these sort of dark areas up and once you get the darks as dark as they should be then it's easier then to put those final details everywhere uh, so that's what I've tended to do there now is just to get all the darks in properly and then I can really try and subtle all the other details and other values up Now what I'm doing here is actually lifting some of the graphite out to create lighter areas. Now sometimes you have to merge values into one because there's so many different shades you're looking at but we're trying to simplify it down to nine values. So sometimes you have to merge about two or three values into one to, to get the nine. It's very hard to put in words. Um, but it's a case of what visually looks right um, so sometimes you have to you know make it as bright as an eye light in some areas just to get the feel right then what I tend to do then is pick up a 9H which is a very hard pencil and then just glaze over with it and it seems to shine the light shines through this very light uh, graphite so for the light, for the lights, this 9H is really subtle and it's worth exploring and, uh, and playing with because it takes away some of the grain as well. So it makes really subtle, sort of subtle areas. It's hard to explain until you've used one and, and see what it can do. The final touches, I'm actually being aware of the whole image and then just got here and there. So you're dotting all over the place, just putting a little bit here, a bit there, lighter here, darker there, just to get that overall feel. And to make things realistic, it's not only just about the values, it's about edges as well. So some edges are softer and some edges are sharper. So what you want to stand out, make it high contrast with sharp lines and one the things what you want to recede you make softer so it's a case of getting a feel now what you want to project thank you for watching the video this far here's a look at the finished study if you'd like to explore more videos in my channel here's a few you might be interested in